Good uh, afternoon everyone now uh, welcome back to our channel the Asian mechanic guy and for today uh, we'll just, I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, diagnostic uh, for this uh, 2013 uh, Dutch journey with the 3.3 uh, liters engine so the complaint of this car there's a huge coolant leak over here so if you ever see a coolant see that red right there on the top of the transmission actually that coolant it's coming from here on the oil cooler, cooler uh, housing assembly so if you see that there's a lot of coolant coming out from that assembly and it will go all the way there and it will go to your on the top of your transmission so I'm gonna show you uh, where is the leak coming from but for sure it's coming from here uh, I'm gonna use this pump this uh, coolant uh, pump or coolant uh, pressure tools so that we can see exactly where the coolant will come out so I'm gonna pump it right now hopefully it will show there see it? you see it? <laughs> it's moving now. I will get more. So it's coming from there actually. Over here. So see that you know what I'm gonna remove that you know that coolant. I'm gonna vacuum it then I'm gonna show it to you again hold on let's vacuum first see in here there's no no coolant right so now I'm gonna pump this and you will see a coolant will come out So it takes a while, but over here, right here, see that, right there, and there's the coolant on the side. After. 
So anyway, right there. <laughs> you can see the corner now. It's coming now. Alright, so as you can see right now, right there. So, <laughs> there's already coolant coming out. So it's really tough to show you. But again, that's the uh, place you need to look. If ever there's a leak that you can see on the top of your transmission. What's that right there? That's the coolant, coolant leak right there. So again, if ever you find a coolant leak on the top of your uh, transmission, the problem is this. Uh, oil uh, cooler assembly. So, there you go, that's just a quick uh, diagnostic uh, of this uh, coolant leak uh, for a 2013 uh, Dutch uh, Journey with a 3.3 liters engine. I think this applies also to Jeep and other Dutch with a 3.3 liters engine. So if you have any question uh, in this uh, video, uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too. That's all for today and see you in my next video. Bye. Right, so I just want to show you the real problem is so this is the housing as you can see in here the o-ring in this one where the coolant goes it's already melted so because this is plastic look at that then that's where the coolant goes and as you can see the the o-ring also is melted let's remove it see See that it's already melted so this is plastic wow look at that <laughs> it's melted <laughs> now I'm gonna show you the brand new one how it look like so that's where the coolant goes for the coolant leak there's two hole right there the one Let's go check the brand new one. Right, so that's the old one, and this is the brand new one. So it now it's not plastic anymore; it's aluminum. So you can see the difference in here compared to this. This is already melted. No wonder it leaks. Look out! Look at that. <laughs> it's melted. This one is not gonna melt because it's aluminum. Alright. That's it. Let's just gonna put this on. And problem fixed.